Keith Bradbury. I'm known as Mojo in the sax mouthpiece community. But we're here to talk about bass flute uh, support while you're playing. Um, I have trouble with my shoulders and for playing for more than a, you know, 15 minutes or so, I have trouble with the weight of a bass flute. So I came up with a couple ideas I, I'd like to share with you. The um, first draft I came up with started out with a stand, an on-stage music stand, folding, portable, but pretty sturdy. And I'll give links to all this somewhere at the end of this video or in the comments section. But this has a fold, folding legs. It's pretty large base you can open it up to, you know, it's about two feet from end to end. So there's other stands you could start with, but this is a like a $50 stand off Amazon. I'll give the uh, specs to that. And it came with a piece on the top, looks something like this, and the music deck, you know, was on there. So I took that off, saved it for a later date. Then I took this top, which was round, and I had a bolt through it to hold on the, uh, the deck. And I sawed a V in the top and glued some um, suede on it. Uh, you could use felt. Okay. Then when you bring this just inside your right thigh and all the way up against your chair and adjust the height properly, you create a little saddle support that you can put the instrument on. And if you put it where it's balanced, it essentially takes all the weight off. So I have it kind of right over the uh, you know, G-sharp, G area. One thing you have to avoid is the G-sharp you know, pad opening. If you put it right where that is, you're going to have a problem. So you can put it on this side or that side. You know, I started over here because I had more problems with my right shoulder and it took the weight off of that. But it's actually easier and, and then it could be on the outside of your thigh. But um, I actually prefer it right here. You know, it's not anything worse than cello players have to deal with. So it was a good solution for a while for me. But th then I got the um, desire to use it as a flute stand too. So I, you know, got a... Uh, ceiling uh, hanger hook from a hardware store need to get one that has the same bolt size as what was what was in this bolt this thing what had a uh, you know a thumb you know bolt adjustment to hold it on which I took out so I have this as a as a way to to uh, both secure this and to hang the flute on so I normally don't have it disassembled like this, but it operates as both, you know, an adjustment clamp for this. I had a couple of uh, rubber spacers in here also I needed to make it to work. And I covered the whole outside of the cook with a hook with electrical tape. So, you know, so when, you know, it doesn't get in the way of playing. And when you're done, you can hang your flute on it. Except the problem was my foot joint hits the floor when I have this at playing position. So actually to store the flute, you have to loosen the stand, adjust it higher, wherever you like it, and hang the flute there. However much you want your foot joint off, off the floor. And not, not great. So there's, there's a couple things that I improved upon with my second generation design. So we'll put that away. The first was the support. As much as uh, you know, that support was helpful, it was a little bit constricting. So I came up with you know, this design, which is kind of like a beam, four inches long, and it's got you know, suede glued on top of it. And this clamp here, this was 3D printed. So that's what made all this possible is I now have a 3D printer. So by having a ledge instead of that V saddle, you have the freedom of sliding this in and out now as you play. So, and you can also move the stand a little bit 
further away from your chair and still find a position to support the flute. So the other thing it allows me to do is to have the support separate from a hook to hold the flute. So I designed a new hook that fits the contour of the inside of the flute better. It's uh, for a 30 millimeter diameter uh, you know, flute bore. Um, and this can be made in different sizes. And it has a, a, a clamp similar to this, only it just holds the hook. So that goes on here. And you know, now the support is separate from the hook height. And you can adjust this to where it's comfortable for playing and adjust this to where, however high you want it off the floor. So right now, that's about, you know, three inches off the floor. Take a look down there. Or it could be higher if you don't want it touching the uh, legs of the stand or you prefer it not to be so tall. But, you know, this is, to me, a lot more sturdy than a peg would be with a, a smaller base, even if it's weighted. You know, you could, this is as, as stable as a music stand. So, you know, music stands do fall over, but um, mostly it's the music that slides off of them. You know, I think that's a great solution. I'll give some close-ups to these parts and also a way, uh, a link to where you can download the files. I really don't want to sell a lot of these. I just want to give it, you know, the idea away. I'll print some for you if you really need them, but you can get uh, someone else to print these. Uh, there are printing services, and, um, you know, this is a, a below-cost solution to, uh, you know, sitting support and a, you know, a flute stand. I suppose it could be adapted for standing and playing if you had uh, a stand that's tall enough. Um, microphone stands are something to look at, speaker stands, um, and uh, some of those are cheap as $25, so uh, there you go, my solution. The mojo applied to flute, bass flute. Okay, here's a close-up of the parts. The, um, just to get it out of the way, um, I used a Music Medic Ultra Suede, gray, black, white, they, they come in, you cut, cut that up, and use a, a rubber cement and I use that inside this saddle you know it's kind of putting a sheet into a three-dimensional shape so you might have to cut some slits to to get it to fit right um, spread it out but uh, and then I covered this on the top and the bottom so that I could use either side you can just do one side or whatever so that's it for the suede um, hardware the uh, I use a hex headed bolt black that's one and three eighths long, quarter 20. You'll need two of those, two washers, two wing nuts. I went with all black, you know, so you gotta buy something. Like, or you'll have it in your junk box. So here's the three parts that are 3D printed. One is the hook. Okay, and I'll have some specs, you know, these will be on Thingiverse, which is a sharing site for 3D printed parts. Um, this is one that was uh, I borrowed from somebody else's design for a clamp. I'll give a link to that. So is this. This was actually a clamp with um, that you I reprogrammed, but I got it right off of Thingiverse. It came like they had a little stubby, fat clamps, and I made this this longer ledge on it. And, uh, you know, all these parts. So these two, I borrowed the designs and modified. This one I, I did from scratch and had a lot of different prototypes to get something that I thought was sturdy, um, fairly easy to print, and worked. 